Yes, ladies and gentlemen, in this video we will use scale in order to find a missing unit from a word problem. So in this problem it says the scale for a drawing of a barn is one half inch equals four feet. If a pole in the drawing measures two and one half inches, how tall is the actual pole? So for a scale problem, the first thing we want to do is set up our proportional relationship. Okay, and our proportional relationship means we need to have two quantities set up as a ratio. So we look, we have one half equals four feet, or one half inch equals four feet. So that's going to be our initial ratio. So we can set that up as one half to, or one half inches to four feet. Okay, <clears throat> so we've just established one quantity to another quantity and that's our initial ratio so now what we want to do is set this up as a unit rate so we can solve for any kind of problem that comes up in this particular case it says if a pole in a drawing measures two and one half inches how tall is the actual pole okay so this is the key in your question we want to figure out what we're looking for and that needs to go in our numerator so if we're looking for the size of the actual pole, we look back at our ratio and say one half inches to four feet. Then we just gotta make the decision. In actuality, is four feet gonna be the real size or is four feet gonna be our model size? So me, I would say that the four feet is the actual size because one half inch is kind of small for a barn. So I would wanna measure my barn in feet. So I would put my actual size, four feet, and I'm going to put that over one half of an inch. But me, I'm going to turn this one half into a decimal. So one half I know is 0.5 inches. So now I have four feet over 0.5 inches. And now to turn it into a unit rate, we know that unit rate is a special kind of ratio where the denominator is one. So in order to get one in the denominator, we just need to divide by what's in the denominator. So if I have 0.5 in the denominator, I need to divide by 0.5. But whatever I do on the bottom, I need to do on the top. So up here, I need to also divide by 0.5. Okay, so this is gonna turn this into a unit rate. So I'm gonna get one on the bottom, so one inch. And then 0.5 will go into four, eight times. So eight feet on top. So now we've created a unit rate. Created a unit rate of eight feet to one inch. Okay, I'm gonna rewrite that down here so we can continue. So eight feet to one inch. Okay, now what I need to do is just multiply that by my drawing size because we've created a ratio drawing to actual. So I need to put my drawing so this is going to be multiplied by my drawing of two and one half and the same thing I'm going to use 0.5 for one half so instead of two and a fraction I'll say 2.5 inches and then I just put it over one so it makes it look a little neater because anything over one is just itself and now at this point we'll know we're on the right track because our inches that we want to get rid of because we don't want the model size we want the actual size so these inches are going to go away okay and that leaves feet and feet is what we're looking for so now i just need to take eight point or sorry eight point oh eight feet and i need to times it by 2.5 inches and that is going to give us 20 feet okay so now we can answer the question how tall is the actual pole the actual pole is 20 feet. All right, I hope this video helps. In the upcoming videos, we'll do a couple scales with dimensions, and so you can see how it works with more than one side.